This is an updated video regarding common sense machine. So their application is currently entitled Cube. As you can see, uh, this AI platform can turn any input into game engine ready 3D asset. So this is the main website. And um, there are three examples over here. And also we have the possibility to take me to the Cube app or we can uh, build with API. So as we can see, there are also some plans. So there's the Tinkerer, the Maker and the Creative Pro. I'm using the Tinkerer, which is the free one. We're going to see that this makes use of a slower public server. And we have this baseline 3D model quality. So over here, we're going to see some examples that I generated using Common Sense Machine. And uh, for some, we have this initial view. For others, there are, there's a preview model, like those two planes. Or we have the refine model, like um, in this in this case for this these two images. So where we only have the initial views, we can go over there by clicking on that. We're going to see that now we can go to the preview model. There's a difference over here. So since the last version, as we can see, we can uh, choose model version 1.1. Afterwards, we're going to hit on generate. And now the platform should start process. But as we can see, we're going to get a notice. Our servers, um, our free server is currently uh, backlog. So therefore, I won't be able to have that processed. I also added over here a concept, as we can see from Airbus, Airbus Zero. So we see that image over there. This is the preview mesh, so quite far off in this case. And again, if I will try to refine this mesh with model version 1.0, we can see that, uh, that the free server for the moment um, is overloaded. So let's see what's new when, uh, within this newer version. I'm going to go for the community showcase. And we're going to see over here some of their examples. I'm going to open some of those to analyze them. So we have this robot over here, which we see So over here. It has, has an additional uh, elements, element that wasn't previously within that photo but overall the shape of the robot is decent so within the back the ai decided to to add those circles and we have the possibility to either download um, so the preview mesh or the refine mesh in this case if you're gonna check uh, the other examples so these are let's say the the best uh, some of the best examples we see this also has quite a lot of details. And the next one will be that same. But if you're gonna go for something cartoonish, like this example, we're gonna see that the AI platform will do a lot better than uh, those robots. So we're gonna see that for the back of the character, the character um, won't have any additional elements. So this is quite... Um, quite good and um, this model can be rigged and animated so this is a great example of common sense uh, machine platform the same will be for the other cartoonish elements like we have this one over here there are some difference regarding the colors so if you want to take a look this it should have been a teal and over here it's a dark um, blue color but overall, this model can be decent and can be added to, to some projects. This one as well. As you can see, it's not that good as the previous one, but it's quite decent. So if I'm going to jump back to the community showcase, keep in mind that for those cartoonish or uh, statue-like elements, the platform does amazing. So as you can see over here, we have this wizard. 
Again, the colors are a bit off, but if you want to take a look at uh, other elements, so the models will always be mirrored, as we see over here, the orientation of that hat. So over here for the belt, the character is supposed to had, uh, have a star over there on the belt, and over here it has a rectangular shape. But other than that, the model is great. So another option that they added within this newer version is the 3D World Editor. So I'm going to open that. You can see that this is an um, iframe platform where all those models from the community showcase are added. And we can start interacting with those. I can use the mouse or I can use the standard unity movement by holding down the right click and using um, the keys w asd in order to move and we're gonna see how those model will, uh, will look so currently those are all quite uh, voxel like as you can see but if i'm gonna go and have that previewed those model should be loaded and some of the elements that um, like the magician that we the wizard that uh, i previously had open you're gonna see that uh, it will also be visible over here so let's see which is this one we see that this is also multi-user so a lot of uh, other users are currently joining this and we're gonna have that model slowly loading we have the possibility to use uh, various tools like we have the voxel object edit we can select elements we're gonna see the the rotation so the possibility to rotate that wizard we can also use some painting for example i can choose a color so i'm gonna try to remake um, let's say that star shape over here that that was missing by using the paint tool I have the possibility to add that over there as you can see it's a little bit laggy for now but we see how that texture will be added to the model so this is quite interesting that we can visualize the, the models over here within uh, an environment with multi-user we can have those rotated so i'm sure that they will make this as individual rooms for um, for all of the developers to visualize their uh, their model and also interact with other users so i decided to make this video because um, as we can see the video with um, csm is my most popular uh, video within the last period and only afterwards we have those um, usual katia videos so if i will try for example to add another image i will use this active sphere from uh, audi so let's call this active sphere i'm gonna save this i can use either a png or a jpeg file and afterwards within the platform which is this one i'm gonna go to home and afterwards generate a 3d model i'm gonna select that active sphere which is this one and you're gonna see how that image will be uploaded and once the image has been uploaded we can proceed to the first step so this is the initial view initial views as you can see those have been generated keep in mind that even um, if these are not 100% uh, accurate the model can still uh, look good so we see over here that the car should be quite wide and I'm going to use the model version 1.1 and I'm going to try to generate this and let's see if the free server um, is currently and as you can see the platform has now started to work for the preview of the 3D model and uh, this should be maybe around 10 to 15 minutes so as you can see over here make yourself a cup of uh, tea and check back soon so I will cut the video over here we see that now is 8 32 pm and uh, when the model will be ready i'm gonna add that to to the video
much 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 later okay so the model just finished preview as you can see this was um, a little bit more than the initial time so as you can see this will be the preview mesh from this perspective the car looks pretty decent but if you're gonna rotate we're gonna see that um, the other side is in this case a total mess nevertheless i will go with the refine mesh in this case because i want to see how good this side will be so the refine model has been started over here Okay, so usually the refine model takes a lot longer than the preview, therefore maybe I will not add that within this video. But let's compare some existing refine model. So for example, for this um, this image over here, we're gonna see how that refine mesh will look like. So again, this side is let's say okay, -ish, decent, and for this car overall the the proportions are a lot better than um, than the active sphere that is currently being processed. If you're gonna take a look at this one, you're gonna see how the views were uh, totally off over here. So, for some reason, um, there were two cars. And again, one side is decent, but over here we have uh, something that looks like the back of a car over here again so this car has two back views with no front view okay so if you like this content i also highly encu I encourage you to test the common sense platform i'm using the free version maybe with um, with the other let's say the maker or the creative pro the quality should also be better as we can see so this only uses the baseline 3d model quality but let's hope that they will uh, improve also the the free one so thanks for watching i will position a similar video over here to the left and a subscribe button to the right so see you in the next video